doing that whole down on one knee thing? If you're considering buying a rock, you should know. Science has come up with a way to make stones that look exactly like natural diamonds. Sound unromantic? There are some pretty compelling reasons to consider synthetic bling. Here's what you need to know about natural versus synthetic diamonds. First off, when we're talking synthetic diamonds, we're not talking fakes. These ain't no cubic zirconia. These stones are virtually identical, right down to having the same optical, physical, and chemical properties as natural diamonds. See for yourself, these images from the Gemological Institute of America show a natural diamond on the left and a synthetic diamond on the right. Or was it the other way around? Natural diamonds are formed when carbon is compressed deep in the Earth's crust for millions of years under intense heat and pressure. Intense heat and pressure? Dude, try planning a wedding. Synthetic diamond makers simulate the same conditions, but speed up the process. So instead of millions of years, we're talking weeks. Natural diamonds are mined, synthetic diamonds are grown. There are a couple of methods, but both start with a diamond seed. That's a tiny piece of natural or synthetic diamond. It acts as a template that forces carbon atoms to align in the same lattice crystalline structure that makes diamonds so sparkly. Ooh, sparkly. The result? Natural and synthetic stones are chemically identical. You can only tell the difference in a lab. In fact, since a lab-grown diamond is virtually a diamond, one growers group is lobbying the U.S. Federal Trade Commission to prohibit the word synthetic when describing them. They prefer the word culture. Here's what you probably want to know. How much money can you save? If you can afford to, it's easy to drop thousands of dollars or more in your quest for that perfect natural rock. There's a lot that influences cost. Cut, color, clarity, and of course, the number of carats. A synthetic stone can cost you 20 to 40% less. And because the stones are grown in a controlled environment, they don't have the same imperfections you find in natural stones. And money isn't the only difference. Natural stones can have significant eco and ethical costs too. Mining can have serious environmental effects. Synthetic stones, on the other hand, have a much smaller footprint. So before you go shopping, here's something to remember. There's also a difference between synthetic and simulated diamonds. If a diamond says it's synthetic or lab-grown, it's a diamond, just not one that came from the ground. Stones that are sold as simulated diamonds or diamond substitutes like cubic zirconia, clear quartz, and moissanite are sparkly, but they're not diamonds. So if you like it and you want to put a ring on it, there are options. If only the rest of the wedding planning were that easy. Want to know more? Check out our sources below.